Uh, Ms. Archuleta, we have heard a lot of questions and testimony with respect to local uh, authorities not uh, providing the level of information that you guys are needing. Could you tell me the reasons for that? I understand some may be financial. Are there other reasons they are not giving that information? Yes, sir. Sometimes they choose not to. Uh, other times resources are unavailable to them to do so. Uh, and in, as a former member of the Homeland Security Committee, we do a lot of grants to uh, local police, off, uh, police uh, departments. It seems like uh, if, uh, if they don't want to help us, we might be a little bit more reluctant to, uh, to help them. Would you, have a, would, you, would, you guys, would you have a problem with us withholding all our some funds to police departments that don't cooperate? Um, I am supportive of, of, uh, any, of uh, making sure that we can get these records. It is a very important part of our uh, background investigations, and I know that uh, the work of this committee as well as the President's PAC is uh, looking at this very seriously. As far as issue. the overall guidelines, uh, and I, I don't mean to rush, I have a limited amount of time. Yes. Uh, with respect to overall guidelines, do you know the date of the guidelines uh, for what what's done in a background check? When were those last reviewed? You know the, the procedure and what's checked. Um, I don't know, sir, but I'd be glad to get that for you. All right, well, it's, it's my understanding they're quite right. Do, do y'all, in part of the background check, do y'all Google the person? The use of social media is uh, and is uh, a, a manner in which is, or a, is a technique that is being reviewed right now, and recommendations have been provided by the DNI and supported by OPM. But, but currently, area. We, we don't check. Trying to review or, right now. There's or any or news stories on Google or anything like that. We don't I think uh, just making sure that there, the quality and the validation of that information is secure. Um, all right, and then. The, let us talk a little about, about the ongoing investigations. We have heard several people uh, you know, list some of Mr. Alexis's uh, very questionable behavior between his security, you know, shooting, out his, uh, shooting out his ceiling and uh, you know, uh, some, uh, an arrest and so, so, some other issues there. Uh, th there is nothing in place now, right, to, to do that. The only way you would have found out about it is if he self-reported? That is exactly right, sir. Um, now, doesn't the FBI get information about arrests and convictions and things like that uh, automatically? Are you aware of that? I'm not aware of that, sir. I'd be glad to find out for you. All right, because it, it, it and you, you don't. There's no routine, ongoing checking somebody's credit score. You know, you get no. you get in trouble. You know, you, you're susceptible to corruption by a foreign government or or whatever. So there's no ongoing. There's check, as easy as a credit score. There's uh, there are credit scores, but there's not continuous evaluation. So once an, uh, the first investigation or background investigation is conduct conducted, in Mr. Alexis's case, it would be 10 years later. But uh, the issue of continuous evaluation is uh, one that is very important to me and to the President's PAC, as it, well as the ODNI. Is that something? It, it seems like that's something that at the, could, at a very simple level, be automated. Uh, you know, you've got their name, you've got their date of birth, you've got their social security number. Okay, after healthcare.gov, I'm questionable about the government's ability to automate anything or compute its way out of a paper bag, but that seems like a relatively trivial action. Mr. Phillips, your company does background checks, uh, albeit, you know, we, we've had some issues here, but is that something you all could easily automate, you think? Uh, are you asking about the uh, Just checking, uh, checking somebody's credit score on a regular basis or polling databases to see if somebody's name pops up? In my view, that would be a fairly straightforward um, application of technology to continuous monitoring. Mr. McFarland, you are the uh, uh, IG there. You have you, got your uh, hands in the water. You got some other things that could really easily and inexpensively be done uh, for, to, to do ongoing checks? Well, the, the point that you just made about uh, isn't there somewhere you can reach out, I think the, uh, the FBI, they, they collect a tremendous amount of arrest records throughout the country. And, uh, and, 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 and Mr. Lewis, you are with the DOD. Mm -hmm. uh, the holding of a security clearance isn't a right. It is it, a privilege. We don't have to wait until something is finally adjudicated, mm -hmm. whether you are <clears throat> convicted or not. Shouldn't an arrest be enough to just raise a, a red flag? Certainly there is uh, information in arrest records that you know, uh, is worthy of consideration for whether or not someone should continue to have a claim. And, and sometimes uh, between arrest and conviction could potentially be years. What, meanwhile, that, uh, th that person still has access to, uh, to sensitive information. Is that not correct? 
That, 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 that is a concern, very much so. Uh, all right. I see my time uh, has expired, but I do want to join with the other side of the aisle and the rest of this uh, committee in coming up with a solution to give you guys the tools that you need uh, to uh, help keep our country safe and make this process uh, much more streamlined, uh, much more automated, and much more responsive uh, to the needs so we avoid another uh, tragedy like uh, Navy Yards. And I will yield back. Thank you.